Hey guys, I'm gonna quickly show you how to do uh, mini potatoes on the barbecue. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on uh, your barbecue, but prep super easy. Pack it up in aluminum foil on the barbecue. Good to go. Start off, uh, you're gonna half all your potatoes. All right, once you got them all halved, we're gonna start uh, basic seasoning, salt and pepper. And then we're gonna throw in about a third of an onion. Just roughly chopped. And herb wise, we have lavender, thyme, and rosemary. You can kind of do a mix of whatever you feel works, but this is what we're gonna use. We're just gonna lightly chop each of these. And we're also gonna throw in about a tablespoon of butter. So once you have those, you're gonna mix them together and we're gonna prep our aluminum foil. So you're gonna take your potatoes. You wanna kind of make an envelope kind of package of aluminum foil in here. And it's important to make sure you get all the edges properly closed because you want these to kind of like steam on the inside. So you don't want uh, holes in this where uh, the air is escaping the whole time. All right, there we go. So this is gonna be 45 minutes to an hour on your barbecue, depending on your type of barbecue and how hot you have it. Uh, I'm gonna throw this on there and we'll take a look at it in a bit. All right, so I have my barbecue up at 400 degrees. Uh, I have a multi-tiered kind of system, so my potatoes are going to go just on this top level. And I'm gonna let this sit for the next 45 minutes. All right, so it's been about half an hour. Uh, I let the temperature creep up just a little bit to try and speed it up. Not much to look at, but we're gonna give this a uh, flip over basically. All right, so we are exactly 45 minutes. So we're gonna pull this off and take a look. Again, very careful, don't burn yourself. All right, so that's exactly 45 minutes. Uh, we're gonna take a look at it. Careful opening this, the steam's gonna come out, it's gonna be very warm. But let's take, uh, let's take a look. So the smell is crazy good, depending on the herbs you've used and whatnot, it'll uh, obviously smell a lot like that. So that's what it ends up looking like. Uh, I'm gonna have this as a side with uh, steak tonight. Depending on how long you leave it, you're gonna get more or less color. So if you had gone to maybe an hour and turned it maybe an extra time, you'd get a bit more color on other sides. Uh, but that's it. That's gonna go fantastic with steak tonight. And uh, enjoy it, guys.